Hey, what's up guys? My name is Emmaus Vanderbilt with Silver Fox Productions. And my name is Heather Mayone with Fellow Filmmaker. And today we are teaming up to do a shootout between three different cameras to help you figure out which one's the best for you. We both shoot full-time video and my team mainly shoots weddings and commercial videos and Heather mainly shoots product videos and commercial videos for corporate groups. So hopefully our experience will lend you a helping hand as we compare these cameras. And speaking of which, we're going to be comparing the 1DX Mark II, the 5D Mark IV, and the 6D Mark II. I do want to point out that you do not have to have expensive cameras to get great shots. As you can see in the comparison right now, the iPhone XR did a great job stacking up against the 1DX Mark II, but there are plenty of reasons reasons why the 1DX is better than the iPhone and of course a lot of cameras are because it's just a phone but it is saying that you do not have to have expensive cameras to get great shots. Clearly these cameras are very different from each other but we do want to take a moment to go over some of the technical strengths and weaknesses of each camera before we get into the shootout and those areas that we want to jump into are price, video resolution, frame rates, autofocus capabilities, build quality, and a few other features that we feel are really important. And then we'll take the footage from all three cameras, put them side by side, and see if you can tell the difference. So starting off is price, because this is a big factor for a lot of people. It can have the best features, the best video quality, and all that, but if the price does not fit, then it is not a great fit for you to get. So I'm gonna go over the price for each of them because they are noticeably different. The 6D Mark II at the making of this video comes in at $1,200. The 5D Mark IV comes in at $2,500. And the 1DX Mark II comes in at $5,000. Video resolution can be really important because some of your clients might require you to use 4K video footage rather than the industry standard, which is 1080p. Now 4K is also a really great way to future-proof your footage so that if for some reason the standard jumps up next month, your footage is already at that standard. Now we can't tell you which one is best for you because that's something that you'll need to determine for your clients and the work that you're doing. But 4K is a really great option because it's a higher quality and you can crop it in post if you need to to make it 1080p. It'll be a higher quality 1080p. Keep in mind that a cheap camera with a high quality lens will get you a better result and a better image than a high-end camera with a really cheap lens. Now, the video resolution for these cameras are the 1DX has 4K, the 5D Mark IV has 4K, and the 6D Mark II has 1080p. Next up is frame rates. And for me, that's super important because I have to have 60 frames a second to get that beautiful slow motion footage for my wedding videos. I would rather have a camera that shoots 1080p at 60 frames a second than only 4K at 24 frames a second. So go ahead and figure out what needs you have in a camera. Figure out, do you need slow motion? Do you just want real time? Do you need extra slow motion at 120 frames? And figure out what needs you have for the type of videos you create. But now let's go ahead and look at what frame rates each of them use. The Canon 1DX Mark II and the Mark III are the only cameras that Canon offers that shoot 4K at 60 frames a second but they also shoot 24 frames a second and it shoots 1080p at 120 frames a second to get that super slow motion. The 5D Mark IV shoots 4K at 24 frames a second and 1080p at 60 frames a second. And the 6D Mark II shoots at 1080p at 60 frames a second. What we both love about our Canon cameras is the dual pixel autofocus, which is sharp and really precise. Now, the only differences between these three cameras that you will find with autofocus is how many points of autofocus that they have. The more you have, the faster and more precise the autofocus will be. The 1DX Mark II and the 5D Mark IV both come with 61 points of autofocus, and the 6D Mark II has 45 points of autofocus. For comparison's sake, the Canon T4i Rebel Series camera, which is an entry-level camera, only has 9 points of autofocus, and this makes it really terrible with autofocus. A camera's build quality is also very important because it determines how long your camera will last. A lot of cheaper bodies like in their Canon Rebel series, it just has a cheaper housing to it, which of course it relates to the cheaper price tag, but all three of these cameras have a nice solid construction to them. They feel like a tank, and that means it will last and be more durable on your shoots, 
for whatever types of videos that you shoot. A positive to the 6D Mark II and the 5D Mark IV is that they both take a very common SD card, which is a lot cheaper than the CFast II cards that the 1DX Mark II takes. A positive to the 1DX Mark II is that it has a built-in battery grip with buttons and everything, and which of course you can always buy additional battery grips for the 5D Mark IV or 6D Mark II, but the 1DX II does have one built in. I like to use a battery grip that I attach to my 6D Mark II. It extends the battery life, but it does also add some extra weight. So if weight's a concern, you can take that off when you don't need it, but I think it's well worth it because it adds a few hours to your battery life. And with that, let's jump into the shootout. The 1DX Mark II is my personal favorite, and that's not just because it's the most expensive and the most flashiest camera, but it's because it meets my needs. Just like I mentioned in the beginning, find out what your needs are and figure out which camera meets those needs. For my needs, I need something that shoots at least 60 frames a second, and I need something that shoots 4K because with shooting higher end weddings, they need that 4K resolution. So there's 4K at 60 frames a second, and it has a great build quality, and the autofocus is on point, which I need for my wedding. So the 1DX Mark II is my favorite, but definitely the 5D Mark IV and 6D Mark II work great. My favorite camera right now is the 6D Mark II. The reason why I picked that camera over the 5D Mark IV was mostly for price, but also I didn't need the 4K at 24 frames per second that the 5D Mark IV was offering. I really needed 1080p 60 frames per second at the very least, because those 60 frames per second were the more important thing. As the mayor said, you've got to figure out what your needs are, and so that will really determine which camera you're going to buy. So the 60 Mark II is a great intermediate camera that gets you into the industry. It's shooting things at really high quality that clients will need and want um, and just really get you started. So it's one of my favorites and that's why I've gone with it. At some point, I will probably upgrade though. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful and I hope you've been able to figure out which of these three cameras will fit the needs that you have for your company. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to Silver Fox Productions on YouTube and follow us on Instagram at silverfoxproductions underscore US. And be sure to follow at fellow filmmaker on Instagram and subscribe on YouTube if you haven't already. Really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Thanks.